Part of ensuring that you have good data that's ready for analysis is validation. You want to make sure that that data is accurate and your insights are correct. Now in Spotfire, Wrangling is built around the data canvas, but we also have visualization capabilities as well as data panel functions to help you validate. So for visualizations, we'll be using that to explore the data. And this is a little bit different than using visualizations to find insights. We're instead going to look for any issues in our data. Now we can also then validate with the data panel. And in this video, we'll show how to correct that with some cleaning steps. So let's go into Spotfire. Here in Spotfire, I have different sales records for customers that have visited stores in different regions. I can see information about the customers themselves, as well as how much money they spent in each department in these stores. I can preview this data in my data canvas uh, by going to the data tab and then scrolling down. You can see all of the data here in this data table. Now, at first glance, this all looks good to me. I don't see any issues. However, my gender column should have just two values for male and female. So let's take a look at that in my data panel. I'll go down and I'll select gender and I can click the gear icon to see properties about this column. And here I see that there is three unique values. It looks like there's female, male, and then male without an E looks like a misspelling. Now I can view all the values for each of these columns with all or in unique. I can just view the unique values. So for this male, I'm going to right click and replace this. And if I instead make this male with an E and apply this, then Spotify is going to replace all instances of MAL. And I now have two unique values and my data is cleaned for that. Now, when I go over here, I can also see I have a customer ID. I see that there are 74, 754 unique values in this column and there's 754 rows. That means each row has a unique value for me. So that's insightful for me in validating that I have a unique ID in this data set. Now, when I go to my numerical values, I can actually see a histogram distribution of the values um, for each of these columns. So when I go to customer age, uh, and in any of these, really, I can select the histogram right here in the, the data panel flyout, and that'll create the visualization. So it looks like here on customer age, I have a value all the way up here on the right. So this is over 300 years old. So this looks like this value is actually a typo for 354. So here I can right click this and I can replace the value. Now this will replace all of the instances of 354 or 344, similar how we did with male and female, or I can re replace only the specific occurrence. In order to replace a specific occurrence, you need to have a keyed column. A keyed column is a unique identifier for each row on your data set. And so Spotify needs a way to know that that row is unique and only replace it on that row. So I can select key columns here, and this is already finding that customer ID is unique. So I can add that as a keyed column if I'd like, and then I'll get the opportunity to replace only this occurrence. Now, I don't really know what to replace this with, so I don't want to actually replace values here. Instead, I want to remove this value. So I can highlight this and I can right click on the marked rows and I can go to delete. However, be aware that deleting the marked row will only do it for this session. If you want to remove the marked row for or the specific value for all future sessions, then you need to use a filter transformation. So let me hit control Z here and undo that delete. And now I'll go into my data panel and for customer age, I'll click this little filter. I'll bring this down under 354. I'll bring it down to an age that I'm comfortable with and I can right click here and just say create filter transformation. What this does is go into my data canvas and it records this as a filter row. It automatically created this filter transformation for customer age that's not null and is less than 100. So let's talk a little bit about the null values. So if I'm exploring my data set, I might have some empty values that are hard for my eyes to pick out. If I have big blocks, I could, I could maybe see that, but there could be individual small values that are hard to find. And so a little trick is you can use a heat map visualization where you can look at the whole data set all at once, all the rows. So you put your row number in one axis and then all the columns you want in the other axis. And here I've colored all the cells and if it's empty, I've made it red. So if I just want to see, let's say uh, a details visualization here, 
and let's say I want to select just some of these uh, empty values, you can see I'm jumping right into where those empty values are and, and can quickly find that. So how do you handle these? Well, you can handle null values by going into your data panel and you can go to a column and you can go into the settings and there is a empty value replacement here and you can replace it with a specific value the immediately preceding value average value things like that and we have a separate video showing how you can actually interpolate as well using tear functions the other thing you can do is actually use a heat map with hierarchical clustering we show this in another video and you can do null value replacement across all your columns all at once using whichever distance method you want and that's a quick and easy way to to fix that problem of empty values.